Hola, chamo Mandy. Como está? Hola, chamo me Andy. Como está? Hello, my name is Andy. How are you? Let's talk about the Portuguese and Galician languages. Modern Galician and Portuguese originated from a common medieval ancestor as Galician Portuguese, also known as Old Portuguese or as Medieval Galician. This common ancestral stage developed from Vulgar Latin in the territories of the Old Kingdom of Galicia, Galicia and Northern Portugal, as a Western Romance language. In the 13th century, it became a written and cultivated language with two main varieties, but during the 14th century, the standards of these varieties, Galician and Portuguese, began to diverge. As Portuguese became the official language of the independent Kingdom of Portugal and its chancellery, while Galician was the language of the scriptoria of the lawyers, noblemen, and churchmen of the Kingdom of Galicia, then integrated into the Crown of Castile, and open to influence from the Spanish language, culture, and politics. During the 16th century, the Galician language stopped being used in legal documentation, becoming de facto an oral language spoken by the vast majority of the Galicians, but having just some minor written use in the lyric, theater, and private letters. It was not until the 18th century that linguists elaborated the first Galician dictionaries, and the language did not recover proper literature until the 19th century. Only since the last quarter of the 20th century is it taught in schools and used in lawmaking. The first complete translation of the Bible from the original languages dates from 1989, currently at the level of rural dialects. Galician forms a dialect continuum with Portuguese in the south and with Azar Leonese in the east, with mutual intelligibility estimated at 85%. Portuguese is a Western Romance language of the Indo-European language family, originating in the Iberian Peninsula of Europe. It is an official language of Portugal, Brazil, Cape Verde, Angola, Mozambique, Guinea-Bissau, and Sao Tome and Principe, while having co-official language status in East Timor, Equatorial Guinea, and Macau. Portuguese is part of the Iberia Romance group, that evolved from several dialects of Vulgar Latin in the medieval kingdom of Galicia and the county of Portugal, and has kept some Celtic phonology in its lexicon. With approximately 250 million native speakers and 24 million second language speakers, Portuguese has approximately 274 million total speakers. It is usually listed as the sixth most spoken language, the third most spoken European language in the world in terms of native speakers, and the second most spoken Romance language in the world surpassed only by Spanish. Galician is a Western Ibero-Romance language. Around 2.4 million people have at least some degree of competence in the language, mainly in Galicia, an autonomous community located in northwestern Spain, where it is co-official with Spanish. The language is also spoken in some border zones of the neighboring Spanish regions of Asturias and Castile and Leon, as well as by Galician migrant communities in the rest of Spain, in Latin America, including Puerto Rico, the United States, Switzerland, and elsewhere in Europe. Modern Galician is part of the West Iberian Languages Group, a family of Romance languages that includes the Portuguese language. Galician evolved locally from Vulgar Latin and developed by the 13th century into what modern scholars have called Galician Portuguese. In the next part, let's hear the beautiful sounds of their language. Um, um, dois, dois, três, três, quatro, quatro, cinco, cinco, seis, seis, sete, sete. Oito, oito, nove, nove, dez, dez, vinte, vinte, cem, cem, mil, mil, todo, todo, pouco, pouco, parte, parte, cor, cor, verde, verde, direito, direito, largo, largo. 
cheio, cheio, jovem, chove, novo, novo, doce, doce, crua, crua, rápido, rápido, vivo, vivo, bom, bom, triste, triste, forte, forte, caldo, caldo, frio, frio, cabeça, cabeça, olho, olho, orelha, orelha, lágrima, lágrima, língua, língua, dente, dente, barba, barba, mão, mão, braço, braço, dedo, dedo, pé, pé. Todos os seres humanos nascem livres e iguais em dignidade e em direitos. Dotados de razão, de consciência, devem agir uns para com os outros, em espírito de fraternidade. Todos os seres humanos nascem livres e iguais em dignidade e direitos e, dotados como estão da razão e consciência, devem se comportar fraternalmente uns com os outros. Deus enxugará todas as lágrimas dos seus olhos. E não haverá mais morte, nem haverá mais tristeza, nem choro, nem dor. As coisas anteriores já passaram. Deus enxugará todas as bágoas dos seus olhos e a morte já não existirá mais. Nem haverá mais loito, nem pranto, nem dor, porque as primeiras coisas passaram já.